So really exciting news, Thrive Themes is now compatible with Fluent CRM. So I wanna walk through a couple really cool use cases and talk with you about this question that I like to ask every time a new integration comes out, and that's what does this make possible? So let's dive in and show you how to connect Fluent CRM with Thrive Themes, which includes Thrive Architect and Thrive Leads, and then go into some of the really neat use cases that I've already implemented on my site and that I've discovered so far. So first things first, you wanna to go to your Thrive dashboard, locate the Thrive features section, find API connections and click manage connections. Now this is super simple. This is just like adding an API connection anytime you use an API connection with Thrive themes. You simply click add a new connection, you search for Fluent CRM, you click Fluent CRM and press connect. So using this Fluent CRM integration now that we've enabled it is really, really simple. My favorite way to use it is to come onto a page on your website, open up the element tray on the right hand side, search for a lead, bring in the lead generation form onto your page, choose a design that you like that suits your brand or your website. Once you have that picked out, customize it however you want. And then over here on the left hand side, under the main options of our uh, element contextual sidebar, we can choose add connection and then drop down and choose Fluent CRM. Now at the time of recording this, there is no ability for you to add tags or to add any other information to somebody that submits this form inside of Fluent CRM. I might be a little early to the game, they may still be fleshing this out. And the main reason I say that is because if you go to the API dashboard and watch the quick tutorial that essentially walks you through much of what I'm showing you here, you'll see that they're able to tag people and add them to uh, as many tags as they'd like. Whereas right now, all we have the option to do is choose the mailing list inside of Fluent CRM. So that's something you may wanna watch for now. If you're like me, I actually only use a few lists and I usually use tags in order to uh, group or segment my email list. So that's something I'm definitely waiting for. And that is one critique I have. Hopefully they do add the ability for you to choose tags and add tags to people. But like I said, I might still be early to the party as this uh, integration might be still developing. But once you've chosen your list, and for me, I'll choose main list and click apply, you're all set. Once the form is submitted, the information is going to go to Fluent CRM and your users will be added to your list. Now, let's talk about the key question again that I always like to ask, which is what does this make possible? So a couple of things. If you've seen some of my other videos on YouTube, you've seen that I've used lead gen forms like this to register new users in WordPress. I use this for a free course funnel. I've used this to integrate with things like Uncanny Automator to trigger other events with other applications inside of WordPress. So now that we can add this information to Fluent CRM, we can really bridge the gap in our marketing automation that was missing. So let's go through some of those really neat use cases that I've discovered. So the first thing I want to do is add a second connection and that connection is going to be WordPress account. And we're gonna leave them at subscriber when they fill out this form. Now, if you haven't done this before, you'll want to go back in, just like we added Fluent CRM, add an API connection for WordPress and make sure you save that. And that's how you'll turn on WordPress account. Now I wanna add some fields to my form because a name and an email is not enough. I wanna add a password field. So we'll click add new and sure enough, there's password. And we'll go ahead and make the password field required and we'll make the placeholder be password and we'll click apply. And now you'll see that uh, we have a password field on our form. And so when someone fills out this form, it'll give them a, it'll give us their username. We'll get an email, which is essentially their account name and a password. So now they've created an account. We want to manage what happens after they've successfully done that. So to do that, we'll come here on the left-hand side again, scroll down a little bit and find out what happens after a successful submission. Well, in this case, let's assume that submitting this form meant that they created an account to be a free user and we've added them to our mailing list. And maybe the purpose of this was a free course funnel. Perhaps one of the courses in our course library is available to all the users that give us their email address, join our mailing list, and now have an account on our website. In the past, in order to make this actually happen, you had to make the course available to anyone that had the subscriber user role on your website. It worked, but it wasn't perfect. But now that we have the integration with Fluent CRM, we have the ability to get a little bit more creative and to trigger events through Uncanny Automator and some other tools. So first, let's show what happens after they submit this form 
on the front end. So this is basically everything the customer or the student is going to see. We want to redirect them to our courses page. So for us, let's just pretend that our course index was called courses and let's save our work. Now, as far as the student is concerned, they fill out the form, they create themselves an account, and they're automatically redirected to our courses page where they can access the course content. Now, let's jump into the back end and create some of those automations using a tool called Uncanny Automator. So here we are in Uncanny Automator, which think of this like Zapier for WordPress. It's a fantastic tool and I highly recommend that you pick it up and I'll include the link down below in the video as well as in the description. So our goal is to use the information we've just gathered from that person who submitted the form, created their account, and now has joined our Fluent CRM mailing list for free users. So we have their information. So the user's not anonymous, they're logged in. So we'll choose logged in and click confirm. And now we need to choose a trigger. So in this example, the trigger is going to come from Fluent CRM. In Fluent CRM, the user was added to a list. The list in this example is main list, but this could have been a free course or whatever you've named that course. You could create a list or in the future when tags are supported, we could have chosen tags. But for now, we'll choose main list and click save. So what this is saying is that in Fluent CRM, whenever a user is added to main list or insert whatever list you'd like to control, something happens. That's our trigger. And now we need to add an action. So our action, if we click on that, is going to be triggered into another tool that we use. In this case, let's go ahead and choose wishlist member because I want to use wishlist member to control access to my courses. So I'm going to choose wishlist member. And when a user is added to the, the list main list, I want to add that user to a membership level. And the membership level could be anything that I have inside of my wishlist member account. So let's pretend that this was for my Thrive Apprentice course and it was free. So when someone signs up, creates an account through my lead gen form in Thrive Architect or Thrive Themes, they're added to Fluent CRM, they're now on my marketing list, and I've also added them to wishlist member automatically to my free course level, and now they can log in and access that course completely for free, and I'm controlling their access through wishlist member. And what's really neat about this integration is that because they're on a wishlist member level now, which previously was not at all possible, using the method we just set up, I can actually give them access to way more on my website and control what pages they can access. So this is a really neat integration that we've created here between Thrive Themes, Fluent CRM, and Wishlist Member. Let's walk through another really cool automation that I'd recommend. So let's say that in our free course, we have, let's say 10 lessons, and we want to track the progress of a student. Currently, there's no way to do that in Thrive Apprentice natively at the time of creating this video. But using a couple neat tools, we can track when people complete watching a video and trigger an automation to happen. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So first, we know about this user, we know who they are, and they're logged in. So we're going to choose the logged in option and click confirm. And now we're gonna choose a trigger. So what is our student doing that we want to have trigger another action? So in this case, they're going to have completed a video. So we're going to choose Presto Player, which is the video player that I recommend for use with Thrive Apprentice. So in Presto Player, when a user completes a video, in this case, we're going to choose the video that corresponds with perhaps a particular lesson in our course. And for that, I'll just choose an example video that I have in my account and press save. Now, once they've completed the video that's halfway through our free course, we want to add an action and we want to choose Fluent CRM. Now with Fluent CRM, the action we want to choose is we want to tag the user. So that tag we can choose as perhaps our free course halfway so that whenever someone is halfway through our course because they've watched and completed this video, we're going to tag them as halfway through and we'll push save. So now with this automation done, what we can do is we can go to our Fluent CRM account and then we can go to automations and create a new automation. And now we want to base that off of a CRM action that when a tag is applied, something's going to happen. We're going to set up an automation. So first we need to give this a name. We'll call it our free course halfway. Click continue. And now we want to choose the tag that's going to trigger this event. So as we set it up, we want to choose free course halfway. 
So again, they watch the video. We know they're halfway. Uncanny Automator tags that exact user from Presto Player into Fluent CRM. And then we push Save Settings. And now the tag is applied. So we need to choose what happens. Well, if we click the plus symbol there, we can choose what happens. So perhaps we'll send them a custom email. In that custom email, we can write a subject. We can say, how are things going with the course? Or we could ask them if they're having any questions. Or we can send them anything that we might want to correspond with them relative to being halfway through our course. Or perhaps you have a particular lesson in your course that you know is priming that student to be ready to buy something else. So for example, and maybe in my courses, when someone in my Thrive Apprentice course gets to the section where they're choosing what sales cart platform they want to use, maybe now's a great time to send them an email about all the benefits of Thrivecart and how Thrivecart works really well with Thrive Apprentice. This would be a perfect opportunity to follow up with someone right when the timing is best. And that's one of the powerful integrations of using Uncanny Automator with Fluent CRM, with Presto Player, with Thrive Apprentice. Once you have your email set, what you might want to do is remove them from this tag, course halfway. So we could add this and we could say remove from tag and choose free course halfway. Sometimes it's nice to keep those tags nice and clean. If you're using a tagging system that you want the tag removed, we simply applied it, took the action and removed the tag. Now, when this person perhaps watches another video, we can add a tag, put them through an automation and remove that tag as well. So that's it for this guide. I hope that's enlightening, showing you how you can use Thrive Apprentice with some other really great tools to really enhance your course funnel marketing automation. If you have any questions about the tools that I featured in this video, feel free to leave a comment. Also, if you're interested in picking up any of those tools, go ahead and check the links in the description of this video where I've included them for you. This was Doug at Convology, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.